We're here in Chicago in Millennium Park at the fourth annual Chicago Gourmets event. Two days of fun, food, and really festivities with this year 130 chefs, more than 300 wineries, 65 spirit companies, and a handful of breweries. Let the festivities begin. Chef Rick, we're here at the fourth annual Chicago Gourmets event, and fourth we know you annual. always, you kick it off every year. Well, yes, it's really an honor to be able to do that. It's such a great event because it has galvanized the food community in yeah, yeah. Chicago. And yes, everybody knows we've got great restaurants, we've got wonderful products that are manufactured here, prepared here. and. It, to bring them all together in one gloriously beautiful place really helps everybody to understand how special Chicago is. And it is. We've got over 130 chefs this year, so it's a very, very big event. <laughs> it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I think that's the that's kind of the change because at first all the chefs were wondering what was going to happen at this event. Was it going to be worth their while? Of course it's worth their while. And now everybody wants to participate. So much so that today is sold out. Tomorrow there's only a few seats left, actually. And isn't that exciting? It's nice to know that our community here in Chicago supports what we do as chefs, as, as uh, producers of great food. So what in that way do you see the biggest difference in this fourth time out from previous years? Everybody knows what to do. We don't bump into each other in quite the same ways. The first few years, everybody's trying to figure out how to do this event really successfully. And it has been a really successful event, but every year it gets better. This year it's 10,000 people that are expected. 10,000 people in this little area over here. I'm getting a little nervous. This event was started four years ago to celebrate the great chefs that call Chicago home. I just had a conversation with Chef Rick Bayless and he talked about how Chicago chef community is so unique compared to other cities across the world. And the difference is not only that some of the best chefs now call Chicago home, but they really are a com community that support each other. And that's what today is all about. What do you see that's really different this year? Um, well, okay, starting out with the hamburger hop, what I did yeah. differently this year than last year. Last year I did the Gage Burger, right? and then uh, this year I did the Henri Burger, and uh, people loved it. I mean, I really, there, we got a lot of votes, and uh, we didn't do small burgers this year. We did big burgers and cut them, and, you know, it, it was a, it's a great the burger. that worked. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I actually liked cutting them, you know. I thought the first year was cool, and... This year, uh, even better with a lot more people. So uh, expecting and, ten thousand this year. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Um, and even at Hamburger Hop last night, there was uh, uh, twice the amount of people that uh, were there from la compared to last year. Today we have a shrimp etouffee from Heaven on Seven restaurant. My trusty assistant, my nephew Andrew <laughs> Bannis, is helping us out. Look at these people; they're lining up. Thank you. Etouffee is a stew. It means smothered shrimp. It's got a little heat to it. Oh, just a little, just a little. But we have little hot sauces if you want to kind of kick it up a little bit. You know, so it's good. All right. It's good. Enjoy. What do you think? Oh, it's fantastic. No better place. <laughs> Lake and Land. Okay. Open for lunch today. It's a buying series. This is the first year. What are you doing? This we have a little chicken toscana, so rotisserie natural chicken from the Amish country out in Love Indiana. Yeah. Beautiful green city market vegetables and some great mole sauce that that man over there. Terrific. Right. Jessica, everybody's talking about this black dog gelato this year. Tell us about it. This is a pumpkin spice gelato with a blackberry cabernet sauce. And like I said, it's an espresso whipped cream and um, salted pumpkin seeds. It's tasting like a little bit of fall. It is, yes. Everything. Yes. All in a right. Good time for it. Great. Chef John, you know what they say in Chicago, everybody loves pizza. Yes, they do. So what do. kind of pizza are you doing? Well, actually, these are our bruschettas off our pizzeria menu. We have uh -huh. the best, best wood fire pizza in the city. But two that we're doing right now is an heirloom tomato with fresh basil and arugula and mozzarella. We've got the tomatoes from the Green City Market this morning, last week on the heirloom, so it's beautiful. It is. I've got yeah. an aged um, goat cheese, which is humble frog from Cypress Grove, and a chip and onion jam on top and a lavender honey. See that jam. Absolutely delicious. Oh, lavender honey is a really interesting addition yeah. to that. Yeah. 
Our stuff is local, ours is delicious, and this is these are amazing things on our menu. Supposed to be more popular great. than your pizza. No, no, our pizzas are very, very popular, so. <laughs> Chef Anthony, yes. True is such an elegant restaurant in Chicago, and this, from one of your customers, is just one of the most amazing presentations of this event. Can you tell us what inspired you for this particular presentation today? Um, the presentation, actually, this is a great example. It's a very unique vegetable. Kohlrabi. Um, right? It is kohlrabi, yeah, and it comes in green or bright purple, and it's just so unique. I wanted to really capture the beauty of it in the raw state and keep everything very recognizable and natural. It, so, right? You do. Yeah. We take the inside out, make a soup, and put it right back inside of itself. So. It's kohlrabi all the way around. And it's chilled or warm? It is chilled. Um, it can be served warm, but we do it chilled at the restaurant right now. Just, um, you know, the remainder of the summer going into the fall, it's still beautiful sunny weather today. So, so. you can order it off the menu. You can, absolutely. Yeah. It's still there for another couple weeks. It's beautiful season for kohlrabi right now. Thank you. Tell us what you're doing today. This is uh, Three Sisters Polenta with grilled Swiss chard, uh, port wine marinated raisins, pickled onions, and Car Valley smoked cheddar. It's certainly a very colorful dish. It is, yes. As a Chicagoan, I'm really pleased that Bon Appetit is here again for the second year at Chicago Gourmets. You're not the only one. That's right. <laughs> and you said this morning that uh, Chicago has more restaurants and more chefs of real caliber than any other place in the country. And I found that really interesting. Yeah, they might not let me back in New York after saying that. Right. However, I do think this is a city that has so much going on food-wise on so many different levels, levels, from the kind of the molecular gastronomy of restaurants like Alinea to authentic Mexican cuisine to great steakhouses, amazing Italian restaurants. Uh, it, it's just kind of on every level. Uh, there's something for everybody, and there's also something for everyone at every price point. Um, and the chefs show it at this event. Yeah, and, and I think there's also a community that supports each other, chef-wise. And all the chefs know each other, and they like each other, or at, least, at least as far as I can tell. It's been an important uh, development in the last four years of this event. Absolutely. Yeah. And you look at now, this year at Chicago Gourmet, there's 170 chefs, which is incredible. And the, what's awesome about it is that with 170 chefs, if each guy or gal does their little part, that adds up. And so, you know, they can come do one dish, two hours, make it awesome, make it great. Uh, and over the course of two days, that's an insane amount of great food. And an insane amount of people enjoying it. 10,000 yeah. this year, we understand. I know, sold out on today, on Saturday, before I even opened the gates. So that's amazing. And we got some good weather. Knock on wood so far. It's sunny out, so that's great. Tell me what you guys are smelling. Chardonnay. The number one varietal Americans consume. How many? Yeah, You're right. so involved in the show. Why do you think, therefore, this event is so popular and important for Chicago? Well, Chicago is such a great restaurant town. So much to offer ethnic food, uh, you know, high end restaurants. Plus, it's such a beautiful city, and this time of year, it's great, too. I mean, look at Millennium yeah. Park, it's yeah, fabulous. fabulous today. Yeah. I think, you know, every city, every town wants to have a food and wine show like this. We have the perfect setting. We have all the talent right here. It's such a natural thing to do. It feels so great. And the support that you get when you're here and the people that come out to see you and cheer you on, it's just, it's it's the perfect day. I, it's, I'm not even like, I'm just looking you're forward to it. No, Andrew. I'm like, this is such a great place to be today. So you're all from Florida and you come here specifically for this event. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, what have you tried that you really like the best? Um, I'll say Rick Bayless. I love his restaurant, love his food. Terrific. And what do you think? Um, I think it's a great atmosphere. I'm so glad it didn't rain today. It's a beautiful day. What are you demonstrating? Today we demonstrated like it's a beet cured salmon served with capo berry and pickled cauliflower. Lovely. Yeah. And you're doing that throughout the weekend? We do it like today and tomorrow, so through oh, the weekend. Great. And tomorrow also Boca, one of my restaurants, right. is going to be here too, do like a different uh, tasting, like some kind of tuna.
forces of everything. Steve, you cover everything food in Chicago, and this is Chicago's biggest event about food and beverage. What has you jazzed this year about this event? I'm excited about all the seminars because when they first started this a couple of years ago, it was a couple of tastings and a lot of wine and some cooking demos. Yeah. And now I just came from a, a seminar that Lynn House was doing, a mixologist in Chicago, and they were teaching people actually how to make cocktails and shake cocktails and the kinds of things you see at events like in Aspen where they actually have some great hands-on seminars and things you can learn from. So it's entertaining that, but informative. Entertaining and informative. Yeah. That's, what, that, that's what it should be. I mean, Chicago is full of great food talent but also great teachers. And I think people it's come really here because point. they want to learn. Yeah. And enjoy at the same time. Yeah. Well, have a great time. I think you're underneath, you know, the beautiful band shell, and you see the bean over here, and it's, you know, it's Chicago. Yeah, it's the setting park. is a drop dead gorgeous setting. It's hard to beat this. I mean, the Aspen Mountains are fantastic, but this event is so beautiful because it represents Chicago, and we're all in the middle of the city, and it just it makes you feel like, you know, I'm in the heart of the city. The pulse is going on here, and the best culinary talent in the, in the city is here right now. It was set this morning by Adam. Bon appetit. Where we are right now. Yeah. Thank well, you. Well, yeah. Well, he said, you know, it's funny because they realize in New York how great Chicago is. We've known this for years. We've That's known right. in Chicago. Secret's out. The secret is out that we have the greatest culinary talent in the country, right here in our city. Thank you. Yes. All right. Here. You're watching the Illinois Channel, an independent nonprofit corporation form to provide gavel-to-gavel -gavel coverage of Illinois state government and other public affairs events taking place across Illinois.